In this video, we'll start organizing the main harness to fit the goblin. First up is the ECM connector. Tape a little over a foot of the wires leading to this connector. You should have about 6 inches of twisted tan wire exposed past the tape. Install the ECM into the fuse box housing and connect the ECM connector. Next is the large gray fuse box multi-plug. Hold the cap on the plug to see which direction the wires should exit the plug. Tape about one foot of the wires of this plug. Put the cap on the multi-plug and snap the multi-plug into the fuse box housing as shown. The brake fluid reservoir will be closer to the BCM in the Goblin than it was in the Cobalt. This means the pink reservoir wire will be shortened. For now, just cut the wire and tie both ends into a knot. Pull about two feet of the black wire and cut it as shown. Save the brake fluid reservoir connector for later. Trace the pink wire to the BCM connector and leave it over the edge of the table. Work the medium sized gray multi-plug through the harness to the BCM connector. Find the ambient temperature sensor wire you tied in a knot while thinning the harness. Pull the wires back to the BCM connector. Pull out a few feet of the black wire on the coolant level connector. Cut the wire and tie it in a knot. Work the connector and wires through the harness to the BCM connector. Cut both wires of the accessory power connector and remove the red and white wire from the harness. Hold the cap of the dark gray multi-plug in place to see which way the wire should aim. Tape up about a foot of these wires. Install the cap and snap the plug into the fuse box housing. Next, tape up about 8 inches of the body to engine harness connector. Group the wires near the fuse box housing as shown. The light blue wire should aim the opposite direction of the other wires. Hold the body to engine harness connector next to the fuse box wires and tape the wires together. The shape of your harness should match ours. Tuck the loose wires into the fuse box housing to keep them out of the way. Grab one of the copper lugs and start pulling the loose wires free from the harness. Any wires that are still attached to connectors in the harness should be cut as shown. Tie a knot to mark the wires. Roll up the ground wires and save them for later. Repeat this process for the other copper ground lug. Next, we'll start working on the large body to dash harness. Many of the wires were cut while the harness was being thinned. Go ahead and trim all these wires close to the connector to get them out of the way. Next, we'll label the wires that need to remain in the harness. Check in the video description for links to documents that will list the wire and pin information so you can make your own labels. 
One at a time, find the wire that matches each label and securely stick the label to the wire. One wire will have a taped union. Pull the loose wire from this taped union. Cut it out and discard it. Mark the other wire with the label. Continue until the column of labels are all applied. There will be wires left over that did not get labeled. These wires won't be used in a goblin. Cut them near the connector and thin them from the harness. Now you can cut the labeled wires to remove the large connector. Do not remove the wires from the harness. Carefully untangle the labeled wires from the harness and set them aside. They will be extended later on. A few feet from the fuse box housing, pull the slack out of each wire as shown. We are trying to pull each wire so that they are the same length from the fuse box housing to where we are holding them. Once you have all the wires tight, tape them together. Grab the loose wires from the fuse box housing and set the blue and green wires aside as shown. The other wires should be pulled to the thick bundle of wires. Group the wires and tape the bundle together. Bunch the excess loop of wires together and tape them to the main bundle. At this point the harness is already looking more organized. You should have a group of wires that need to be extended. Two wires that will be used for the fuel pump a pink wire for the coolant level, a twisted pair of data wires, and the loose blue and green wires. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified when our new videos go live. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, or join our forum. Thanks for watching.